Oh, ye trill barn sons of Irish blood, come listen to me verses all. They tell of a novelist, be named Bram Stoker, he was known. From a fine house in Clontarf came he, all on the Bay of Dublin, O, where a Viking fleet had come to grief about a thousand years ago. In 1897, the closing of the century, O, Stoker did these pages pen concerning a great vampire, O, near the Black Sea in ancient times, in the lands of Transylvania, O, there dwelt a skype with a fearful bite called Vlad the Impaler, O. <laughs> John Harker, a dashing British blade, he was missing his fiancée, O. As aboard the Orient Express, he darted towards the Balkans, O. For two and three in a manner discreet, with Dracula in his castle, O. Concerning the plate of real estate for a property portfolio. <laughs> Well, his train came to a sudden halt, as darkness it was falling, oh, in Transylvanian countryside, amid bats, wild wolves, and demons, oh. Good evening, my good man, says Vlad, as how you must be starving, oh, for I've a nice steak on the table laid, with mushrooms, but no garlic, oh. <laughs> and that night, while resting on his bed, unearthly sounds woke our hero. Spooky apparitions through oak partitions floated in the darkness, oh. In female form they did appear, in a manner most on Victorian, O. Oh. Ladies of the night with teeth so bright, were they the brides of Dracula, O. Oh. When our hero woke, he had a stroke, his face it was ashen, O. Oh. Daylight had come, but he was done, in right need of a transfusion, O. Oh. But Dracula, he was at rest, yet not within his castle, O. Oh. But on board a ship on a sailing trip, bound for the port of Whitby, O. Oh. Through twilight fog, old Vlad did float in search of juicy victims, O. Oh. Blue blood feministas and their sisters, for to sink his fangs in two. <laughs> Lady Lucy being such a one, Dracula saw her boudoir, O. Oh. Once her neck he bled, she joined the undead, despite doctor's pills and potions, O. Oh. Old Van Helsing from Amsterdam was sought be friends and family, O. Oh. Lord Godalming, Dr. Seward, and the Texan Quincy Morris, O. Oh. Van Helsing took them to her tomb, in the dead of night they all did go. Where an empty coffin and eerie screams exposed vampiric horrors, oh. Well, the four lads, they held Lucy down, they burned her with their crosses, oh. Pierced her heart with a stake as the whole tomb quaked, sliced her head off with the cleaver, oh. Dracula, he was enraged, his latest prey had vanished, oh. While John Harker escaped his dungeon dark and reunited with his fiancée, oh. On the first train out to Bucharest, these vampire hunters then did go. While Vlad flew home to his grisly lair before the break of dawn, and oh. A fiendy sight awaited him in the style of a hammer horror show. <laughs> for the severed heads of his brides undead were spiked in the walls of his castle, oh. Dracula knew the die was cast as clouds began to drift to know. Dawn was near, Van Helsing appeared, wading wooden stake and crosses, oh. Holy water scalded him as he dashed for his coffin, oh. But he slipped and cursed and crumbled to dust as the sun rose in the morning, oh. And that's the end of me gothic lullaby inspired the old Bram Stoker, oh. Not forgetting the stars of silver screen who played Dracula in the movies, oh. Bella Lugosi, Lon Chaney, Christopher Lee in his prime also. So I bid ye all a good night's sleep and sweet dreams till the morning. Oh! <laughs>